Hi guys, welcome to the big three, my switch with their tears, and as I say in every video, strive, thrive, and live. And with anything that I do, I promote growth through challenge, which is the ultimate thing. So I'd like to, uh, for my friend here to introduce himself, so here we have Luke Archer. Luke Archer. And uh, yeah, I actually met this guy online. I was, a while ago when I did the eight week challenge, you may be aware of, I. Um, I was looking for someone to help me with two at-risk youths. I rang out the Brisbane Youth Centre and they recommended this good-looking badger. <laughs> and so I, I did bring Luke up and we did, we did discuss about the eight-week challenge and I did have these youths, but something happened. He couldn't make it. Yeah. What happened, buddy? Mate, a bit of uh, personal adversity, uh, a bit of family issues. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, it's all good now. We'll sort it out. But, yeah. um, yeah, how to take care of that first. Yeah. It's always good to take care of yourself first. So always. Unfortunately, couldn't make it. So, yeah. You can't always help the whole world. There's no point trying to help other people it's if you can't help yourself first. Um, so if you do have issues, try to, and that, there are people around you that do have problems, just try and help yourself first. But you also had an injury. Yes, I did. Show us that big thumb. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I shattered it and uh, yeah. had to get a, a plate Put underneath and a big screw put through it. So that was about ten weeks ago now. Yeah. Ten weeks. So um, yeah. We all want to know though, how many screws? Uh, there's five in there. Woo! You sort of think five in this little lady here. Yes. Yeah. But um, anyway, so there was another thing that I, I did want to have a bit of a conversation with the Luke because ever since then, unfortunately, he didn't. He wasn't able to make it to the F45 session that I held, uh, where these two at risk use were. Mainly because of his thumb. I still don't give him that, but you know, anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, following you, Luke, I also yeah. learned that you do a lot of things outside of what you do day to day. You also work with the Brisbane Youth Centre, so yeah. what do you do specifically? Yeah, so the Brisbane Youth Centre um, help our youth at, at risk. Um, that could be in a, a situation in life, they're generally aged between 12 and 25. Uh, they're at risk of you know, family adversity, maybe they've gone through some. Uh, some addiction, maybe there's been some, some family challenges there, some family breakdowns, a lot of homelessness, um, couch surfing, all that sort of stuff. And uh, so they actually, uh, I run alongside them and we run a, a group session each 